Hey everybody, I'm Kat, or as some of you may know me online as Little Nico, and today we're going to be trying to do a transformation on sort of a cheap wig um, for a character to get a little closer to the character. The character I'm going for is Joyce Byers from Stranger Things. I'm a huge Stranger Things fan. I have probably seen it four or five times already. It's one of those things I can watch over and over. I have merchandise, as you can see. I have my figures. And I've had two Stranger themed, bleh, bleh, Stranger Things themed parties. <laughs> this is the wig in question. Um, so I did Joyce Byers in the past and then, you know, it's just a real casual cosplay. It's one of those things I just threw together. And so I wanted, I didn't, I was never really happy with the wig I had before. Uh, so I got this one. This is closer to her season two, season three hair because she gets longer hair and it's a little floofier. Um, she has that very casual, you know, second, third day hair where it's just messy beachy waves kind of thing. So that's what we're going for. So I'm going to go throw the wig on for you and we're going to talk about what we can tackle and take care of with this wig. I'm here. Anyway, uh, so here's the wig. Um, you can see we have a couple things going on. Uh, they put really little small waves, little kind of kinky kind of waves in this hair. And they almost put like what looks like a little, a little gel in it or something. Uh, so we want to try to make the waves a little bigger, make them look a little more natural, more beachy. Uh, the bangs, you can tell the bangs are a little long. They're, if I pull them straight down, you can see they're poking me in the eye. So they're not usually most wigs you get the bangs come down to here and you have to chop a whole lot off but all I have to do is trim these up a little bit um, the third thing that is going on is we got what I call dome chrome or <laughs> domey egghead you see that the wig is like pointing up at the top it drives me crazy so we're gonna fix our dome chrome we're going to work on these waves and we're gonna trim the bangs so let's get to it we got our wig stand and our foam head and our steamer so we have our steamer nice and hot and ready to go um you could if you don't have a big steamer like this you could use the little portable steamer and if it's a quality steamer i mean it's going to work just as good um so what we're going to do first is what i think is going to be the easiest task of getting the dome chrome out of here <laughs> and so in order to do that what you want to do is flip your wig inside out onto your foam head I'm doing steam because this wig isn't necessarily heat proof wig, but steam is pretty safe to use. It will burn the snot out of you though, so don't put your hand underneath it. So all I'm doing now is I'm applying the steam to the top of the head, to the wig. It's getting a little wet from the steamer, but that's okay. So I'm gonna try to get it nice and hot. Hang my steamer back up. Now see, it's a little hot to the touch, so you could get something like, I don't know, I have an old notebook here. Get the old notebook. And so you're just gonna apply some pressure on top of here, you know, cause you're trying to flatten out that little, that little dome. And so now I'm just gonna leave this on here for a little bit till it cools down. Now the wig is cooled down. It's not really hot anymore and it's not really wet. You know, it's kind of, a little bit of dampness there, but it's okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip it outside right. We're gonna, I'm gonna face this toward me just so I could see what I'm doing. I'm gonna feel in here for my little ear tabs. Sometimes I need to stand up to line this up. I think I got it. So I think that's looking pretty good, you know. You want to make sure that your your hairs are nice and straight. You don't want to yank on this too much. We're just kind of gently combing through the little strands here, making sure there's no kinky kind of wig strands that got messed up while we steamed it. I think that worked. I think that looks a lot flatter than it did before. And if it doesn't come out the way you like it and you still think it's kind of bumped up, just do it again. Or, like I said, if you have the steamer, you probably could steam it like this too. You know, and once again, apply some pressure on there, but I think it's looking much better. So I think we'll move on to step two. But I popped the wig back on. 
and it's very important to measure this when it's on your own head because the wig the foam heads don't match your head size so you really do have to put this on and measure and what I did a little experiment I took some scotch tape I put the wig on and then laid this over just so I can see where I needed to cut kind of right where my eyebrows are at so I don't know this was a little experiment you can do this or if you want you can take like these alligator clips they're fantastic you should own them if you're doing wig stuff anyway and you know while you're wearing the wig you can kind of do that and then clip it in place so the first thing you have to do before you start cutting is pin down your wig so it doesn't shift and bump and move and what you can do is feel for your ear tabs make sure your your wig is nice and straight obviously so your bangs don't get cut crooked so I did sit here and I felt for the ear tabs and I kind of kind of had to guesstimate that it was straight. So right now I'm just putting some pins in my ear tabs. And then I'm gonna take some and put them up here too. Like not where I'm cutting or not where I'm combing, but like right behind that. If you got a heavy wig or something crazy that's shifting, you can put some in the back. But for now I'm gonna put two in the top and two in the side. And what I did as well when I checked this line, I took my little ruler and I just measured about how far down. And honestly, it's about an inch that I need to cut off. So now I can take the tape off because I kind of have a visual of where I need to cut. See, it came right off, no problem. I'm gonna take my fine tooth comb. I'm gonna make sure that I got everything down where I want it. Also make sure you have some sharp shears. You gotta have sharp shears or you'll be fighting yourself. Um, have a nice fine tooth comb with you as well. So as you can see, I have taken my little fine tooth comb and I've gone right around here and just took up the topmost layer of the bangs and I got them nice and neat in my hands. And I'm gonna take some of these alligator clips. Like I said, these clips are amazing. They come in handy so well when you're doing wigs or your own hair and they don't damage the wig or like cause dents or anything like that. And then see, look, hands free now. Okay, so I had about an inch to cut off and it's good. So you wanna start with this under layer and in some techniques you can cut the under layer a little shorter than you do the layer on top. I think I'll try to keep these about the same. So the technique I'm gonna use is called like a point cut or a parallel cut, you're kind of pointing the scissors up into the hair and then what we're gonna do is you're just kind of like now of course I this is doing a cut like this where you're kind of you're angling it a tiny bit haircut is not perfectly straight across so but this gives it a more natural appearance not just a real straight across kind of feel yes using the comb underneath like this works a lot better and it helps straighten everything back out again I'm gonna kind of leave that where it's at I mean, you don't have to do it all in one shot. You can kind of take your time and, I mean, you know, once it's chopped off, it's chopped off. So just kind of take your time. If you're not sure, you could stop, put the wig back on and see how it looks and go from there. I'm gonna now take down our layer, our top layer here. So the good thing is you start with this under layer. You're, if you mess up, well then you have a little bit of forgiveness because you're gonna put this top layer back down. It's gonna cover some of it up. I'm gonna get rid of some of this real long stuff. It's driving me crazy. And again, I'm not blunt cutting. I'm kind of moving the scissors up and down a little bit. That's another method. You can do this. It leaves. cut downward like that so I took some length off of here off of the bangs and like I said I tried to do um, 
parallel cut here. And I think it looks pretty good. Um, we'll probably have to put it back on to really see like where this fell and did I did I meet my goal of hitting right above my eyebrow there. And then I'll probably take a little bit of hairspray or a little bit of gel and just a tiny bit to kind of like piece the, make a little bit of pieces here so it's not so frizzy. Get some styling product in there. And then our next stop is gonna be trying to work with these curls. And that is gonna be our last thing that we do.